Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel on YouTube. And I've had various people asking me recently to draw more ships, uh, particularly Coast Energy. So here you go. This is Admiral Lord Nelson's flagship, HMS Victory. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, I've got various bits of uh, reference material that uh, I've found, various plans just to give me an idea of the, the whole shape of the ship. And uh, these lovely paintings by Thomas Butterworth, which are slightly naive, but, but it gives a great, great view of the rigging here. Now, this is HMS Victory in a squall, so they've brought all the sails in. It looks like they've lost some of the mast, top of the mast there as well. I'm going to use this as a kind of a basis to, to work on. And there's a quick sketch that I did in my sketchbook. Now I'm going to sketch this out in pencil and talk about it as I do, and then I'm going to speed through the inking. Well, this took a lot longer than I thought it would. So uh, I'm, I'm doing, speeding it up and voicing it over. And this is the um, sort of roughing out pencil sketch. And you can see these really sinewy lines along the side, the kind of bulk of the hull. Uh, I'm going to get lots of terminology wrong here. Um, it surprised me. It's actually uh, twice as tall as it's wide. Um, which the, the mast and everything from the from the water up to the top of the mast is twice as wide as the, the basically the width of the ship in this drawing, uh, which surprised me. Um, and and it's just kind of plotting out and plotting out. Um, I'm working out where everything's going to go. It doesn't have to be exact because you can kind of uh, alter it when you come to do the pencil the the inking in. Now, when you do the inking in, uh, start with what's in the foreground. And here, these sails, I think they're the jibs. I'm, I'm sure that's wrong. Someone will tell me in the comments box below. Um, and, and these bits are in the foreground. So it's best to do those first and then sort of work to the background of the drawing. And the, um, you know, the, 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 the hull here with all the guns and everything is going to be quite important. So that's a kind of a major thing to work on as well. So I think there's going to be the anchor, anchor ropes there probably. Uh, and now I'm working on these gun ports and I don't know if you've seen my new channel called Shooby Doodling. Uh, uh, I, uh, well, I do lots of doodling on there, uh, which involves a lot of repetition, which is going on here is, it's kind of doodling. So I, um, I kind of draw a little line to the the left and then I draw in the gun and then I fill in the whole of the, the, the gun port and then draw the little hatch above it. And eventually you kind of get a whole row of gun ports uh, and you can get really bored doing this. And um, that's kind of a moment where you can really muck, muck it up. So if you do get bored and tired drawing lots of gun ports, you know, stop and have a cup of tea and uh, come back to it a bit later. And now I'm going to start working on the rigging and the sails. And sails are kind of sewn together in strips. Um, and those strips give you a really good um, kind of way to give a sh feeling for the shape. So you can give a hint of the, the sort of s the stitching down the sails with those little marks at the top and the bottom of the sails. Just sort of curve them slightly and that will give you a a suggestion your mind puts in there th those little marks there your mind puts in the suggestion of the curve in between and it's just building up and building up and building up so that's the foremast is done and now this is the main mast and fitting in the main mast sails and I know when I did the cutty sock uh, drawing which I'll put a link at the end to that uh, I was surprised uh, how wide it was and there were these kind of extension sails and I thought it was just the T-clippers but uh, once I started researching um, the HMS Victory I found that that had these kind of extension sails on as well I suppose you put those on when it's very calm and you need extra wind to blow you along and now uh, I'm kind of rendering and putting shape into it so you can see there that the jibs are in front and so the sail behind it I put a bit of rendering in to, to bring the jib in the foreground out and now I'm, I'm just going to work on the the hull 
and render, 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 and you just have to keep working at it and working at it. Sit back a bit, look at it, and uh, and keep making it darker and darker. But you don't want to just make the whole thing dark. You've got to leave areas that are light as well, so you can see what's going on. Uh, and now this kind of rendering is is putting shape again into the sails. So you know, so it looks like the wind has caught them. And it's and they're sailing the ship along, <laughs> and and you just have to kind of keep keep at it, really. I I I, <laughs> I think it's just lots and lots of practice doing this kind of thing. You get to know where where to put the shading in. And now I'm working on the 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 sea, which I know somebody asked me recently, could I show how to draw waves? I don't know if this helps at all. Uh, I don't think it's brilliant. Waves are very very difficult. Uh, I will have to do some research on that and try and do some waves later. And then when you think you're pretty well done, I'll put some seagulls in and sign it. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, go and have a look at my Cutty Sark video. Or try the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed and keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel for more drawing lessons and advice. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time, me mateys. Ha <laughs> ha!